Our bodies are the most reliable source of heat that we have when we're outdoors. And because of that, in cold weather, we want to be incredibly stingy with that body heat. And so to do that, we need to understand how our body loses heat. And when we understand those mechanisms of heat loss, we can then apply counter forces to help us to stay warm and focused when we're outdoors. So the body generally loses heat four different ways through radiation, evaporation, convection, and conduction. So right now, while I'm sitting here talking to you, my body is radiating heat. My internal organs are pumping blood through my body. I've fed myself with food and water. I've created that body heat and it's radiating away. Now if I start to get cool, I can apply a sweatshirt over top and I can slow that loss of radiative heat or I can take that sweatshirt off and I can begin dumping that heat. So that's one of the most basic ways. Now the next one is through evaporation. So if my skin is damp or my base layer connect, uh, contacting my skin is damp and that heat is radiating away and that moisture is evaporating with it, that moisture as it evaporates away through evaporative cooling is going to take more heat away from my body than if I was dry. So that's why it's so important that we have a base layer that dries quickly and then when we get on top of a ridge or exposed to cold climates that we immediately put something on top to slow that evaporative and radiative cooling. Now when we get to the top of that ridge and our base layer is damp and we have a breeze which is often the case at the top of a ridge, we want to protect ourselves immediately because as wind now is blowing across our body, especially if we're cool, we lose heat through convection. So we lose heat quicker with wind blowing across our skin, taking more heat away than if it was calm. And when we're damp, say with a wet base layer, that heat loss is exponentially even more. That's why when we get to the top of a ridge, we want to seek shelter with our clothing. We want to put on a windstopper jacket or a puffy jacket, which captures our body heat, captures that heat that's radiating away, captures that evaporative cooling and traps that body heat to keep us warm and focused. Now the last way we lose heat is through conduction. Conduction is when our warm body, say at 98.6 Fahrenheit, comes in contact with something colder, like the ground, even when it's warm out, or a rock, or a tree, something like that. This is why ground pads are so critical. A ground pad when we're sleeping in a sleeping bag is critical to insulate ourselves from the ground to limit convective cooling. When we're sitting behind the glass, we want to make sure that we've got a foam pad or something that we're sitting on to insulate ourselves so we're not giving up that heat. When we're standing around at camp in the cold, we want to make sure that we're standing on something like a foam pad. When we're in an improvised shelter that we don't have that foam pad, we want to make sure that we're insulating ourselves from the ground with vegetation or pine bows, something to insulate ourselves from the ground. So when we understand these four general ways that our body loses heat, we can counter those forces when we're in the backcountry to stay as warm and dry and as comfortable as we possibly can.